Well, it's a wrap for Gilas Pilipinas as they end the FIBA World Cup Asian qualifiers with a loss against Jordan 19-91. Now let's talk more about the campaign of Gilas Pilipinas in the sixth and final window with Coach Jeff Carriaz. So Coach Jeff, how are you doing? Hi Good. Coach Jeff. Doing well. Hi Pao, how Diego? You know, Coach, uh, if you haven't heard about Gilas Pilipinas the past few week, the past week or so, you've been living under a rock. Because <laughs> incredible performances, incredible drama uh, in particular. You take a look at this entire window. What do you feel is your biggest takeaway from what everything you've heard and everything that you've experienced uh, just following these guys? Well, first and foremost, what's evident is really just the confidence. Mm -hmm. I think the confidence is, is, is sky high right now, um, especially coming off from you know the big win against Lebanon. You know, um, um, making the game close against Jordan. You know, big comeback. So I think when you when you when you play in games like that and their success, that really ups your, your level of confidence. Now, talking about confidence, this guy is probably not lacking on confidence. Let's talk about Justin Brownlee. I mean, what a debut for this guy. Just showed the puso that, you know, Fil Filipinos love inside that basketball court. I mean, talk about this guy. You've coached against him uh, in the PBA as well. J just an amazing player. You know, Justin had 41, 12, and 3, and what a stud is all I can say, mm -hmm. you know? So, are we surprised that he's bringing that? Even in the Gilas level, I'm not, and I'm sure a lot of the, the players are not, or, or the Philippines in general aren't, you know? Right. So that's the reason why he's showing why we got him to play for us. Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of people are saying that, you know, he's so comfortable playing in the Philippine arena anyway, because Barangay Hinebra never loses in the Philippine arena. In the Philippine well, arena. until I mean, today, I mean, until yeah. yesterday, 41 points, 12 rebounds. I mean, what a takeover um, for Justin Brown. Yeah, and you know what? A lot of people, though, would be focusing on the end game. Again, Gilles Filipinas coming from 25 points down. Scotty Thompson missing a couple of crucial free throws. Coach Tim Cohn went out to defend him online on social media. Right. A lot of hoopers would actually do the same thing. Right. And you have an interesting connection here because back in the day, some people referenced it. Coach Olsen Rosella missing crucial free throws, also playing for the national team. Right. And you were his roommate. You were there on the court when it happened. If you had the chance to talk to Scotty right now after those two free throws, or if you were a teammate of him, how would you go rally around and support the guy? I mean, I, I tell him it happens. It's mm -hmm. part of basketball. Uh, first and foremost for everyone to understand, of course he did not want to miss that, right? You know, and, and it just happens to the best of them. And, you know, we're referring to the situation with, with Coach Olsen Russell in 2002. Same thing I told him, you know, we were up late la that night and, and I was just reminding him, you know, it's part of basketball. You win, you lose, you make some, you miss some. Right. And tonight we did, and, and I would say that exact same thing as Scotty. You know, just stay confident, keep playing. You know the player that you are, and just, you know, keep, learn and build from that. I mean, he's also the reason why we came back from 25 points yeah, down. Yeah, one of them, yeah. I mean, I guess Lebanon, Coach Tim mentioned, you know, you got to look at the positives. He right. rebounded the ball well, he defended well. Right. And talking about the positives, on the other hand, Jamie Malonzo had amazing games for Gilas Pilipinas. Had 11 points against Jordan, and for, for Le against Lebanon, he had 15 points. Yeah. Talk about Jamie. He's a young player, young star in the PBA now representing the Philippines coach Jeff. I, I'm loving how he's just developing and leveling up every single game it mm -hmm. seems like. You yeah. know? And for him to be able to do this at the big stage, you know, for Gilas Filipinas and playing good minutes and again playing both ends like what he's yeah. show, showcasing in PBA. Tremendous player and he's only going to get better. You know, if this feels like everything we're seeing right now from the players, everything is on audition obviously going to the FIBA Basketball World Cup. And when you look at our performances, what do you want to see more of for this Guinness Filipinas team, especially the lead into the World Cup? Well, you know, I, I just want to say, I, I, I hope that they get the proper time to prepare, like I'm sure Coach Short wants, Coach Tim wants, because th that's really it. Just give this, this team, you know, this core, this unit, you know, and you know, of, of course you'll have several on reserve just in case, but give them time to prepare, and I hope they do. They're only going to get better. Experience will, will, will do that. Time will do that. And lastly, Coach, just to finish this, I mean, you've played both in the professional level and also in the international level. I mean, what's the main difference that you're seeing now with the international basketball and local basketball, Coach? Um, th th there's no game that you can relax. I right. mean, in an international level, every game is a tough game, and mm -hmm. you're playing normally against the best players of that particular country. 